uh, hello um, good morning girls so you have all received those note that i have sent just uh, you know a few minutes back into your classroom and they are all very very short notes and the this will also be a very short video as uh, the cha this um, topic itself is very short so you know listen to all the three uh, topics because they are very short that's why i'm doing it in one day you know these are very short topics so now this first video i'm doing about estivation okay what is estivation how the petals or the sepals they arrange themselves in relation to the other is in the floral bud is the estivation okay let me explain in a simple way so i will tell you uh, girls go sit down and social distance 2 by 2 3 by 3 so you'll you will sit in one bench three girls and then the next bench you'll sit two girls no so you have arranged yourself so well right so similarly these petals okay or sepals they arrange themselves in relation to one another in such a way and that way is known as estivation okay estivation applies for both the sepal as well as the petal okay so here in the first one uh, is it clear i hope it's clear let me repeat again like here no let's say these are the sepal they are sitting next to each other no there okay so in the same way that you girls sit next to each other these sepals also they will arrange themselves either sitting next to each other like this or sitting one in front and two at the back like you you guys have been doing you know your social distance or any other way that is good for them okay so how they sit on the flower bud is your estivation okay how they arrange themselves so i hope it's clear so let's look at the first one this first one is valvate estivation and you just imagine a upside down table lamp okay or your uh, you know a uh, plain uh, skirt you know uh, your skirts that you wear you know the plain skirts okay so uh, is if it's a lamp or a skirt whatever they are all in one line no it's not like a zigzag skirt or a star you know or a symmetrical skirt so they are all in the in the same uh, in the same level okay in the same level and all these sepal or petal they are sitting side by side okay in a circle they're just sitting side by side in a circle just like that okay so this one is valvate estivation okay and this one valvate estivation is when they arrange themselves in the same look at what i'm writing whorl okay so they are arranging themselves in this same whorl now only two type of estivation have the arrangement in the same whorl okay they are the first one like a table lamp i told you the valvate and the next one let's see the twisted okay so only only valvate and twisted are in the same whorl h o r l okay in the same whorl all right so you i think you know what is the whorl okay it's uh, the layers of the flower okay so if one is valvate the other one is twisted so this one uh, see that hibiscus flower or uh, uh, this one you saw no the this flower it is uh, valvate now see this one the hibiscus flower the petals you can see so nicely here so sweetly and cutely that they are twisted okay they are dead twisted so when the sepals and the uh, petals or the petals they overlap each other in the same direction it is your regular or your your i'm sorry it is your twisted estivation now again this one also is in the same whorl so i think it's clear for the twisted estivation they just overlap the the floral leaves either the sepal or the petal they overlap in one direction 
So easy enough. Can we go to the next? Now here, there are three types. Imbricate. Okay, let me tell you the heading first. This one, they are in different worlds. Okay. They are di in different worlds. There are three types. Imbricate. Then, quincuncial. This one. That one. Then, vexillary. Okay. So, the three types that are in different worlds are uh, what was that mm, quincuncial vexillary and imbricate okay so there were three types and those which were remember in the same world were valvate and twisted okay valvate and twisted okay now let's look in detail this uh, who are arranged in uh, different worlds it's very easy so the first one is your um, imbricate okay here the one floral leaf is completely inside okay this one you saw this one is in completely inside okay one is completely inside okay completely inside so this one okay that one is completely inside and then one is completely outside okay can you look at this one okay so that one is completely outside and the remaining one are overlapping in one direction okay the the remaining are in out in out okay so this one is completely inside this one completely outside and the rest are in out in out in out okay it's easy enough to if you practice and draw so the next one in the different worlds is the quincuncial so this one is very rare the example is there casea occidentalis it's rare and is found in pentamerous flowers only means those who have five sepals or five petals okay penta five five petals or sepals only here, two petals are inside and two are outside and only one is alternate. Okay. Here, two are inside, two are outside. Okay. Can you find them? The two inside, this one, two outside, this one and this and only one is left. This five, no? So, you draw one, two inside. 3, 4, okay, and then uh, <laughs> 5, 6, you add it anywhere you like, okay, the fifth, and the, the, the fifth one. So it's easy enough, and the next is vexillary. So I told you this will be a very short video. So it is, because the topic itself is very short, it's not even 10 minutes, I'm almost done. So vexillary, this one is just like your sweet pea, no? The, those are found in the Fabaceae family. So they have a large standard. You remember, no? Your pea family we've done in 12. Then you have the wings. Then you have the keel. You remember, no? Now, yes, this is known as vexillary. So it is found in a pentamerous flower. Again, those who have five petal sepals. And the two innermost. Okay, here two petals are innermost. And two are outermost. And one is alternate. Okay. So, uh, this one is, and the posterior petal, it is large and it is known as the standard. This is the large one, this is the outermost. Then here, these are two innermost, which is fused, which are fused. And here, the side ones are alternate. So, this is 1, this is 2, okay. I know this keel, it looks like only 1, but actually there are 2 petals that are fused, this small one, okay. I'm talking about this one. So, it is 2 petals, 1, and then this is 2, okay. But the thing is, they are fused. Then, the third and the fourth are alternating, and the last posterior one is in the outermost world. 
So with this, I'm done with the topic of estivation. It's very easy.